Hello guys, this is another video on cPanel. Uh, in my previous video, I showed you how you can host your first website uh, using the cPanel. Uh, using the cPanel, right? So there is more to cPanel other than hosting and just uh, people viewing your website or application online. Is something like emails today i want us to discuss about emails let's say an example you've seen someone with an email with uh, some let's say your domain name is and uh, let's say uh, trial at my my c panel or my website dot com this is what i mean by uh, uh, domain domain email so this domain name how can you create uh, this email using your cpanel this is what i'm going to show you today so the first thing you need to log into your cpanel i've already logged into my cpanel and this is my view the, my, the first interface that i uh, i view when i log into the cpanel so it has so many things going down on but we'll discuss the rest of them later for those who have not watched my first video i'll still leave a link in the description so the first thing that you need to do to create an email you navigate to the email uh, uh, division the email section yours might be at the bottom or at this middle depending with the, um, your hosting company but uh, in my case it's uh, at the top of the page so I'll just create email accounts sorry I have a very terrible internet connection don't know why you forgive me for that keeps disconnecting every time but it's not such an issue just disconnect and connect again connected but still not connecting so just give me a second so we are back and let me refresh uh, this page so we are going to email accounts as you can see in my case I have a bunch of uh, email accounts in my domain but that's not important so yours might be empty uh, reason being you've not created any of them so the first thing that you need to do is navigate to this button this button I can call to create click create and then it requires it will give you such a platform yours might look a bit different but the format is the same so the first thing that you need to do here shows you your uh, domain name I can't maybe you want to name after your subdomain you can select whether you want it after subdomain nodes or something like that or your main domain sorry so the next thing is the username the username is the name that you want to give uh, your your email let's say you find some companies you have something like HR HR office or something like that HR office at canongadgets.com you find this uh, another department of maybe let's say the technical department you want to email them or something like that so in our case here i'll just use a try or something so i'll say email email trial as my username at canongadgets.com so this is my my main my a uh, trial email so you can set a password now or you can just leave it like that so man i'll give it a, a simple email a simple password sorry i'll say something like this it's mentioning the strength of my password and i think that one is good so and then just come on the on the bottom here and say create this is like a submit button and as you can see they has created a new email called email trial 
so so to manage this email that you created you can select here to click manage and maybe you can allocate a storage space initially it's always a 1 gb but you can allocate a space as big as you want like 9.7 gb some domains allow to an unlimited uh, uh, storage so it's up to you and then you can say you can have this receiving incoming email you can suspend or you can suspend sending out email or logging in anything that you want you can do in the manage icon i'll update then update so the next thing that you need to know about email handling is how you can connect to your phone or to another to another device so that you can be viewing these emails you don't expect everyone is computer literate and they know how to log into the cpanel and you can't give the cpanel credentials to everyone so for that case you can use something like outlook if you use outlook let, let me show you an example i'll open outlook You can see I have so many mails on canongadgets.com, but this is not exactly what I want to show you. What I want to show you is something like this. So let's say you want to connect a new a new email, but from these that I have connected here already, you want to connect a new email to your Outlook. So the first thing that you need to do, you come to uh file click file and then you say add account then on clicking add account i want to show you the steps that you'll follow i will i won't we won't connect any of them right now but i'll show you the steps that you'll take to make your work easier when you try this so it's searching for accounts but you don't want to use any account that already exists let's say in my case we've said is it trial email or email trial uh, email trial at canon gadgets i'll just copy and paste this one uh, i don't want to paste so i'll just type email trial at canon gadgets dot com and then i'll say connect and then you see receive this message and then here it's where the problem comes in you can't use any of these office 365 outlook.com google or exchange what you need to, to use is either imap or pop so in our case you use imap and then to get these details you go to back to your cpanel and then come here at the connect devices click connect devices on your email the one that you want to create and then you'll have you'll have uh, this mail client manual settings <laughs> here you'll get all these details that are requested here first thing is incoming email the port number the encryption method the outgoing mail mail server and port number so the, all those details you'll get them here so incoming server incoming server is canongadgets.com the port number is 993 if you are using pop 3 uh, instead of imap you can use 995 and for the outgoing server you can use canongadgets.com and uh, the smtp port which is requested here here you will use 465 for your case and then you can submit your uh, and it, it will be connected directly to your to your device and that way you'll be able to receive all those mails and let's try to connect our case so that it might not look such a terrible idea so uh, you've seen our server is canongadgets.com and our port number is imap port 993 is okay 
encryption method uh, okay so i'll leave it at none or is it ssl tls okay we just write it's ssl uh, tls secure ssl tls so yeah i'll just select ssl tls <coughs> and then not going server is still sorry it's still this one canon gadgets.com and the port here is 465 as i can see here then I'll just use 465 encryption method is still the same and then you can click next and you can use the password that we created earlier in the C panel okay, something like that and might get this error something went wrong couldn't log in to the incoming IMAP so please check your email address and password and try again you can say you try or you can change your account type <coughs> excuse me for that so that's how uh, basically you connect to your uh, to your outlook if you have any questions about uh, regarding the email uh, creation in cpanel please let me know or maybe your connection is not working in the right way i'll create another video creating a successful login but to make the video short i'll end it i'll end it here if you like this video please subscribe like and leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time